In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes you this morning. And as we gather in the presence of the Lord, as we spend this time with Jesus, let us bring to mind all our intentions, all our prayers. Let us offer to the Lord all our worries, all our difficulties, all our challenges that we face in life. And let us place all of this at the feet of the Lord. At the same time, let us also be thankful. Let us also have an attitude of gratitude and thank the Lord for all the wonderful things that He has done for us, beginning from the gift of life. We thank the Lord for the gift of this new day, a day that will present to us plenty of opportunities, opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others, or opportunities to complete something that was left incomplete. At the same time, let us also thank the Lord for all the talents, abilities that He has given us, all the blessings that He has bestowed on us. We also thank the Lord for the gift of various people in our lives. All these individuals have in some way or the other contributed and have had an influence on the way we go about. Lord, we thank you for the gift of our family members, friends, near and dear ones, and all those who have dedicated their time and effort and have molded us and helped us become who we are today. And now, my dear friends, let us reflect and meditate on Psalm 45. Now, as usual, we shall have a general overview of the psalm and slowly we shall go into details and look at the psalm closely. Now, when we take a look at Psalm 45, we see that Psalm 45 is a beautiful and uplifting psalm that is believed to be a royal wedding psalm. It celebrates the beauty and glory of the king and his bride. And here it also speaks about the spiritual union between Christ and the church. In short, when we reflect on Psalm 45, we see that it is something which tells us how we need to be dedicated to the Lord. In spite of all difficulties, challenges, we need to be united with Him and we need to place our faith and trust in Him. The psalm begins, My heart overflows with a goodly theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is like the pen of a ready scribe. And here itself, the psalmist begins by declaring that his heart overflows with praise for the king. He is ready and eager to write about the goodness and the beauty of the king and his bride. In other words, we can see the theme of gratefulness emerging in this. And as we have begun this prayer with this theme of gratefulness, being grateful to the Lord, let us continue and thank the Lord for whatever He has done for us in our lives. You are the most handsome of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. And here in the second verse, we see that the psalmist declares that the king is fairer than any other men and that grace is poured upon his lips. This means that the king is not only physically attractive, but he also speaks with wisdom and eloquence. And here the psalmist acknowledges that God has blessed the king forever. And once again, another reason to be grateful and thankful to the Lord. Now in the third verse, we see, Gird your sword on your thigh, O mighty one, in your glory and majesty. Here the psalmist calls upon the king to prepare for battle and to show his power and majesty. Verse 4, 
In your majesty, ride on victoriously for the cause of truth and to defend the right. Let your right hand teach your deeds. And here we see that the psalmist continues to describe the king as a victorious warrior who fights for truth, meekness and righteousness. The psalmist also acknowledges the king's great power and the ability to perform awesome deeds. Now in the fifth verse, the psalm reads like this, Your arrow are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, the peoples fall under you. Your throne, O God, endures forever. Your royal scepter is a scepter of equity. And in these two verses, we see that the psalmist describes the king's arrows as sharp and deadly, as he also declares that the enemies of the king will fall before him. And in the verse 6, we see that the psalmist acknowledges the divine nature of the king and his eternal reign. And therefore, the king's scepter is one of righteousness and uprightness. Now, the psalm continues, You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your Lord, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. Your robes are all fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. Your ivory palaces, stringed instrument, make you glad. And here we see that the psalmist declares that the king loves righteousness and hates wickedness. And because of this, he has been anointed by God with the oil of joy. This means that the king has been blessed with great joy and happiness. And most importantly, he is above all his peers. Similarly, the king's garment are fragrant with myrrh, aloes and other herbs which were used in ancient times to create pleasant aromas. He also notes that the king is surrounded by musicians and instruments which bring him joy. The psalm then continues, Daughters of kings are among your ladies of honor. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Here, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty, since he is your lord, bow to him. And here we see that the psalmist notes that the king is surrounded by noble women, including king's daughters, and that his bride is standing at his right hand in gold from Ophir. This is a symbol of the king's great wealth and prosperity. And here we see that the psalmist is trying to urge the bride, urging her to forget about the past and to focus on her new life. Now the psalm then continues. The people of Tyre will seek your favor with gifts, the richest of the people, with all kinds of wealth. The princess is decked in a chamber with gold woven robes, in many colored robes, she is led to the king. Behind the virgins, her companions follow. With joy and gladness, they are led along as they enter the palace of the king. And once again, the psalm continues on this theme of righteousness, uprightness, and the prosperity that the king enjoys. As we have reflected and meditated on Psalm 45. My dear friends, let us now close our eyes at this morning hour and let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord. Loving Father, you have given us this time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away all our sins and he has given us new life. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you to bless us and to protect us. Lord, you have protected us all through the night and you have guarded us. 
You have kept us safe. You have given us good health of mind and body. For all this, Lord, we thank you. We praise you and we glorify you. Lord, we also thank you for being there with us, for guiding us, for protecting us. You never abandon us. You're always there showing us the right path. And for all this, O oh Lord, we thank you and we praise you. And now as we reflect and meditate on this psalm, we ask you, Lord, to be with us, guide us and show us the way so that whatever we do today, we may be able to radiate your love, mercy and joy to the world around us. And now, my dear friends, let us spend a few moments in silence. Let us try to recollect a verse or a thought that touched us while we were reading the psalm. Let us reflect on this and let us try to make it personal. Let us allow the psalm to take its root in us so that we too may be thankful to the Lord for all that he has done for us in our lives. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. The Intentions of the Holy Father for the month of March for victims of abuse we pray for those who have suffered harm from members of the church may they find within the church herself a concrete response to their pain and suffering our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of Thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me. Christ in the eye that sees me. Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary! full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children 
who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Litany to Mary the Loreto Litany Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us Holy Trinity one God have mercy on us Holy Mary pray for us Holy Mother of God pray for us Holy Virgin of Virgins pray for us Mother of Christ pray for us Mother of the Church pray for us Mother of Mercy pray for us Mother of Divine Grace pray for us Mother of Hope pray for us Mother most pure pray for us Mother most chaste pray for us 
Mother inviolate, pray for us. Mother undefiled, pray for us. Mother most amiable, pray for us. Mother admirable, pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech Thee, O Lord God, that we, Your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him 
we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly host by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint jetrud prayer for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen